Hi everybody, I'm here with a haul today. Um, I actually had filmed earlier videos and didn't post them and they were all separate videos. So I'm just gonna do refilming it and show it all at one time. <laughs> um, so I got these new Stamp Market uh, blending brushes and these are just like the other companies that are out there. Plus I bought a set from, or actually I bought two sets from Amazon. Um, these have all white handles and the stamp market put out three different sizes. This is the medium size. And if you're wondering if you got a, a 10 piece set from Amazon, um, the brush that matches this, the best in size is the second to the largest. And it is still even a little bit larger than the one from the stamp market. Um, I ordered uh, one size, but multiples, as you can see over here, multiples of the same size. Um, so that I don't have to clean my brushes in between. I can just use one brush for each color. And this one you can see I put a blue dot using my Copic um, alcohol marker um, on here. So it would, hopefully that will stay there for a while. And it won't rub off when you um, put your finger over it. But that's not probably where I'd be holding my marker anyway. Um, I also put a dot on this side. So... Um, not marker, holding my brush. Um, these are plastic handles, so there is some flex in the um, brush, which is good that you do have some give. I don't usually use a heavy pressure on this. I usually use a very light pressure when I'm blending, um, and that gives me the results that I like. And I have not seen any difference. I have one card, which I wasn't gonna share, but I'll share it because, you know, I made it. This was my first attempt at watercoloring die cuts and so here it is um this set um has this or this card has the background blended using this brush and like i said i didn't see any differences in the brushes that i have from amazon versus the brushes that the stamp market makes um so i'll i'll say that and then this uh watercolored card or watercolor die cuts um is from uh, the stamp market uh, not stamp market sorry the greetery um a couple of different die cut sets that hopefully i have right here um betsy velbin put out this um succulent set of dies and there are no stamps for this so you um either you cut it in colored cardstock or you color it in some medium um once you've die cut so i watercolored these she shows, um, she actually has a video on her YouTube channel that shows um, different variations of the succulents. Uh, so I tried my hand at this and this is using Daniel Smith watercolors. And then she also has another set she just put out. Um, I think this is in additions to their Macromade. I don't know what it's called. Um, die set. Again, this is only a die set. There are no stamps for this. So again, you die cut and then you will either color with some sort of medium or you die cut it out of some sort of colored cardstock if you want it to not be white. So these were die cut out of watercolor paper um, and then watercolored each layer because it's multiple um, layers of these die cuts. I think there's three or four of each. And then of course the same with the little stringy thingies here. Um, and then the bowl is actually a bowl from Sizzix. It's a very old Ellison die that looks like this. And I saw a video that Jill Norwood did. Hi, Jill. Um, she showed this bowl in one of her videos um, using a Christmas, I guess, a Christmas theme. Um, there's the number if you're looking for it. It's retired, of course, because these are the old dies. Um, but instead of using it as a bowl, I used it as a pot. Um, Betsy shows how to use an oval die cut for this, but since I had this close by, I used that. And then this is from one of Betsy Veldman's um, stamps from the Greedery. She has a stamp and die set that coordinates, and that's one of those. And then the ink that you're seeing that I stamped is from Tailored Expressions. And that is the Cookie Monster um, color. So that's the card that I created with the blended background in the back to, to test out those new brushes. Um, but I did buy a number of them and I bought another caddy from Tailored Expressions to to hold them because they do fit in the caddy. So those are the brushes. Um, I bought a couple of D-stashes. Uh, this is the first one 
from a group, a Facebook group. So I got this little, it's like a impression sort of thing where you get the rays and there's rounded in a, a triangular sort of design. And then you get these little pinpoint stars here. This is from Hero Arts and it's never been used. I got this tea cup and teapot set. Tea party is what it's called. Um, these are orders. And then from the same vendor or seller on Facebook, I got the stars. Um, stars and... Good Lord. Stars and wishes. Um, stamp and die set. Um, so these were new as well. And... So they were all together in one D-stash. Written in the Stars is the name of the stamp. Okay, and then I went onto eBay and found these two sets from a seller. Um, this uh, mug set is Hot Cocoa Cups. Hopefully I don't have this one already. But I also got the stamp called Hug in a Mug. Hopefully I don't have that. Um, and then these two um, are uh, Welcome Baby and Baby Rattle. So stamps. And then this is a shaker die. So you'd use a circle shaker in there. Um, and then it's got these little die cuts for the hearts and the stars. So that's from eBay. And then from another eBay seller... I purchased all of these items. So this is a Picket Fence Studios beer um, glass. And there's the um, name of it right there. It's a pretty big size. Like, it will cover a good size of the card. So that's what I wanted with something larger. And then I got this Bow Bunny Sewing, Sewing the Seed stamps set from um, the same vendor. And then these two plenty, Penny Black stamps and one of this one on the left is called what's it called thinking what no that's not it i don't know the name it's probably on my invoice but the name isn't listed here bliss this is called bliss and I really like this. I saw um, some samples with this on it, and I wanted to try that out. And then this one is the dandelion one. It's called Happy Bliss. <laughs> it came up in my search when I was looking for the Bliss stamp. And I wanted a dandelion um, stamp set, so I got this one. And the, front, the last thing from that same vendor is this Stampington um, wood mount stamp set. It's an old one from 2009, and it's called Ball Gown. Um, I have some that are like this, but I don't think I had this one. But I will check my stash. Eh, I didn't go out there and check. I placed an order with Simon Says Stamp as well. And so here's the coupon code. It's good till the 15th of August. Um, right here, Heat $8.99 for $5 off. And then I got this lunchbox die, and this is the size of the die. So uh, if you compared it to a card front, it's it's going to cover most of your card front. So I wanted a larger one, too, for that. And then I got the little panda. There's the size of the panda there. So he's a little smaller than I thought he would be. And then I got this stamp from the Ink Road, and it's called Subway Art Lover movie quotes so if you pause the video because i'm not going to read them to you these are all different movie quotes and they're all just kind of laid out one right after the other it's a really um nice stamp i thought okay one more d stash and this is from somebody on facebook again i got two polka doodles stamps um gingerbread love and santa hugs i thought these were really cute Maybe I'll actually get around to doing some coloring for a Christmas card one day. Um, and then I got some paper pads that this same person had for sale from Poco Duels, um, Country Friends. And I actually have the stamp set for this one because I bought this at a store, my local craft store, um, a couple of months ago. 
So this is 24 sheets of six designs. No, 12 designs. Sorry. Two sheets of each. <laughs> six by six. Um, and you can see the designs here. But the reason I like this is because it's purple in terms of the colors that they're using here. And most of the time I don't see purple used as the main color. So that's why I picked this up. It's called Lovely Lilacs. This one's a Christmas one. Um, again, 12 sheets, two of each. And this one's Winter Land. Man, that looks... I need to wear my reading glasses now. That's really sad. Well, it's kind of dark in here. Um, so this is six by six. And again, you can see the, the different, it's very vintage looking, the different colors in it. But I do like the poinsettias that they have in here. And then the last one, this is a bigger pad. This is 36 sheets. So it's 12, of, um, 12 designs, but you get three sheets of each. And this is called Tea Time. Oh, sorry. Winnie time. Winnie time for tea. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but this is mostly pinks and purples and blues. I like the colors in this one. There's even some flamingos in there. Very shabby. Um, I ha I don't think I have any of their papers. So I'm going to pull one out or pull out this pad to see what kind of quality it is. And oh, it's very nice. It's very thick um pieces of paper so i'm just kind of flipping through it so that you can kind of see it's very much like your vintage vibe look at the flamingos i didn't think, expect that um but good good for card making so anyhow that is it for now i hope you guys are enjoying your weekend I will talk to you soon. Hopefully I'll come back with something else that I've created or I'll just clean up some more because that's what I've been trying to do is clean up in here. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.